Netflix has just released a brand new clip for the Death Note live action film. The clip is titled Light Meets Ryuk. This is going to get us a real good feel of how this film is going to work. I'm really excited to watch it. Let's react to it together. Here we are. On three. One, two, three. Shall we begin? Okay, I'm... I love um, William Dafoe. I almost called him Ryuk. I love William Dafoe. His voice. Relax, Light. You're asleep. You're asleep and you're dreaming of some eight-foot-tall demon-looking motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yes. A dream. I like that. Yo. Dreams are places you can have fun, right? It's all in your mind. So oh, my God. Fun. William Dafoe is doing the Lord's work. Shh. Yo. Come check it out. I love his voice so much. It sounds so true to to the original. This is interesting. Like this. We just put Kenny's name down and see what happens. <laughs> oh man, I'm loving Ryuk in this movie. I know you want to. Go on. Help her. I don't have a pen. <laughs> Good thing you have a pen. Hmm. This is weird. This is weird watching, I'm not gonna lie. Is Ryuk going to dance? I wanna see him dance. Good. Now as long as we're playing, let's do it right. There's no need to stop it. Who? I'm sorry, what else is there? Yo, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch. Oh, okay, that's where they cut it off. Okay, so that was a really interesting clip, to say the least. Now, I did like it as a whole, I'm not going to lie, but there were a few things that kind of bugged me a little bit. Number one, the number one thing that just irked me was Light's character. Now, I have no problem whatsoever with Nat Wolf playing Light Yagami, I'm sorry, Light Turner. No problem with that whatsoever. I think he's a fine actor. I think he's doing good in this role. You see it in this clip, his facial expressions, his reactions. He's a good actor. He's doing good. Um, it's more on the writing side of things that's kind of bothering me. Um, I feel like in the original source material, Light in this situation would have kept his cool a little more. Um, I feel like that this character is lacking composure, and that's something that I like about Light very much in the series is he always keeps his composure and whenever he loses his composure you know something is really really wrong you know something went wrong for him and that's what I liked his character that, that it's one of my favorite parts about him is when he did lose his composure you knew oh my god it's going down something bad is about to happen and this uh, you know he's losing his composure he's slapping his face is this a dream now I get that that makes sense to me you know, there's an eight-foot-tall demon-looking thing, and that's scary. And I would freak out just the way he would. But I feel like the real light, <laughs> the real light, um, in the original source material would have handled that situation a little bit better, um, assessing the situation a little bit better. And even if he were to establish it as a dream, I feel like he would have done it in a less frantic way. So that's one little nitpick. And here's another one that uh, might actually affect the film as a whole as well. Um, Light doesn't seem to have very much drive, um, and what I mean by drive is he's not exactly, he doesn't really care. He's just kind of like, oh, Death Note, okay, I'll pick this up. Uh, Ryuk hands it to him and tells him to, you know, take out this guy that's messing around with this girl in this alleyway here, and, and he doesn't really want to. And that was kind of weird to me. 
I feel like light in the original source material. I sound like a super nerd right now. I apologize. I feel like light in the original uh, source material would have been like, yeah, give me that. Of course, let me write this guy's name. Decapitation, check. Yep, he's done. I feel like that would have been the light in the original source material. Now, it's been a while since I've watched Death Hound. I actually have it on Blu-ray packed up right now. I need to watch that thing again. Um, I probably will watch it again before I watch this movie. Um, but that's what I remember. Um him in the series. I remember him kind of, you know, more driven towards justice. That's what his character was. And this is just kind of like going with the flow. Like, okay, he hands me this thing. I see wrong things happening here. I get, yeah, okay, I guess I'll, I'll write his name down in this Death Note thing. Decapitation, I guess that's cool. Kids like bloody things, right? I mean, that's edgy, right? Um, that, <laughs> okay, that's maybe a little too much there, but um, that's what I feel like is going on in this film, and, and that's a little, that's that's also kind of bothersome. Um, I, I want his character to have that drive, maybe he gets that drive, and maybe this is the turning point for his character, if this is really, or I'm guessing this is, like, probably in the first 15 minutes of the movie, um, that this is going to be the turning point. That would be okay, I would be okay with that, if this, if at this point he realized, I can fix all wrongs, I can stop all of the bad guys now like realizing that this isn't a dream this is reality and he can mess with people and just really take out a lot he can cause genocide and that he you know he kind of does so if this is that turning point for his character that i would be okay with i just feel like again in the original source material he realizes what the death note can do pretty quickly just by reading it and then he does it um, this is, it's just, it's just structured differently, and it's just, it's different, and that's what's kind of making me take a step back a little bit. I'm sure in the actual film, it would, it would play out similar to how the original source material did. Um, something else that bugged me in this little clip, um, uh, why is there a girl, like, just getting harassed in the middle of the street, broad daylight, in a neighborhood? Like, I, I don't know if, like, light is growing up in a bad area of town or something, I mean, that doesn't really make... I mean, I'm sure there's places like that in real life where stuff like that does happen right outside people's houses. And that's sad. I you know that should, you know, yeah, write that person in the death note, please. But it just seems kind of weird. I always thought that Light was kind of... Uh, he kind of grew up in a wealthy family. You know, his father is, like, the captain of the police force. He has kind of, like... He goes to, like, a prestigious school. He goes to college. Like, he's kind of like a wealthy kid. And that's... He's a preppy kid. You know, that's kind of, like, his attitude. But this, he seems like kind of like, you know, his hair's messy. He's wearing like raggedy looking clothes. Um, not that he's poor or anything, that's not what I'm saying, but it just seems like, it seems like he's kind of like a different type of character, more edgy. Yeah, I don't like that word. Um, but it seems like he's like that. I've seen some other stills of him. He was like smoking a cigarette, like, you know, whatever, that's, that's fine, but it just doesn't really seem like that that's right for his character. Um, and how I think of Light to be, you know, from the original source material. I keep saying from the original source material. This is based on a, an original source material, so I'm going to keep saying it. Um, but yeah, that's really all my nitpicks. Something I really liked, of course, is, is William the as Ryuk. I like how he's kind of, he's kind of messing with Light a little bit more in this. And I do like that. I like how he's kind of like joking around like, yeah, dream. You can just do whatever you want in dreams, right? I, I like that. That was really cool. I hope there's more of that. Um, I mentioned in the reaction, I hope that he, he's... I hope he's not always just lurking in the shadows. I hope we see him kind of jumping around and being really weird and moving his arms really weird like he does in the anime series. Because I feel like that kind of is a, is a really special characteristic and what makes him different. Because otherwise, yeah, he's just a creepy monster dude, you know, in the shadows. I, I, I want to be, I want to see him be wild. This first appearance, that makes sense. But I want to see him like begging for apples and, you know, going on the ceiling and stuff like that. I want to see him be Ryuk. So hopefully we get some of that. The special effects are looking pretty good though, to be honest. They look a hell of a lot better than they did in, um, I mean that was a long time ago and it was a pretty low budget film, but the original, you know, Japanese Death Note films, Ryuk looked like a joke. He looked like a CG video game PlayStation 2 graphic character. So this, he's definitely looking a little bit better and maybe that's why they're hiding him in the shadows because he looks the best in the shadows and if he was jumping around and doing stuff like that, it wouldn't look really good. I can't tell if they're doing mocap for this or not. We do see his face a little bit. Um, he does kind of look like William Dafoe. I, I hope that they're doing full mocap where William Dafoe is in a green suit or whatever and he's moving around and jumping around and stuff. At least his face. Just give me William Dafoe's face so we can get those intricacies of his, you know, his personality and everything. But all in all, I, again, I did really enjoy this clip. I've been talking for a little while now. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this clip. What do you think of Nat Wolf as Light Turner? What do you think of Light Turner's... I, I should say this. I, I think 
I don't think many people hate Nat Wolf as, as Light Turner. I don't think that's the idea. I think the main complaint is, what do you think of Light Turner? Do you think that this is working, this kind of more slackerish, kind of more, I, I don't know, edgy again? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think of Light in this Death Note movie? What do you think of Ryuk in this Death Note movie? And what do you think of this film as a whole? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you think it's going to be cool? Are you going to be checking it out? I'm trying to think of an idea right now of what I can do. Like, I, I want to do more than just a review of this movie. I was kind of thinking, could I just do a reaction to the whole damn movie? Like, would it be cool if I just did like a live stream where everyone could just come in and just watch the movie with me? Comment down below if that would be a cool idea, if you guys would be interested in that and just reacting to the whole thing together. I, of course, would upload it later. I've never done a live stream before, so that would be a cool idea to kind of kickstart live streams on this channel. And I think it would just be a ton of fun just trashing on this movie or, you know, we might like it. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I am hopeful. I, I am very hopeful. I don't think the movie looks terrible. It, it definitely doesn't look bad. It's just it's just the fanboy inside of me that's like, eh. But the movie as a whole looks fine so far. I think Adam Wingard is going to do a decent job. I just think the little intricacies here and there are going to be the parts where I'm like, eh. But we'll see how things go. Again, comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this little clip. Give me your thoughts on the idea of me reacting to the entire film. <laughs> that would be really, really fun. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm in the process of moving right now. Things have been crazy. I'm going to be uploading a vlog real soon, either later tonight or tomorrow morning, maybe the next day. I don't know. It's going to happen soon. I'm unemployed now. I just left my job, so yeah, I have time, which is crazy, but I am moving, so I don't really have time. It's just, it's weird. Things are weird. I'm busy. It's hard. Uploading's really hard. I apologize. Things have been rocky, but you know, let's keep going. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.